The Twin Cities, why do we call it that? What's included and what it's all about? Stay tuned. The Twin Cities, as we affectionately call them, refer to the cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul proper. How did we get this name? Well, back in the 1800s, the two cities were 14 miles apart, which meant that it would take a full day to travel between them via horse and carriage. St. Paul became a city first in 1854 at a location that was easy to navigate to on the Mississippi River. Minneapolis became a city in 1867, some 15 years later. It was founded further upriver because St. Anthony Falls could provide power for the mills, hence the nickname Mill City. The nickname for St. Paul, Pig's Eye, came from a squatter that sold illegal whiskey to people at the nearby Fort Snelling. Pierre Pig's Eye Parent was kicked out of the fort area and eventually made a claim on the tract of land that was a little downriver at Fountain Cave, which is located at the modern day's Shepherd Road. Eventually, both cities expanded and grew together. Minneapolis and St. Paul both have the, their own neighborhoods and I talk about them each in their own separate videos. Meanwhile, I've broken down the Twin Cities metro area into quadrants and in this particular video, I'll list common cities in each of these quadrants and of course, I may have missed some cities, but for the most part, I have, I have the majority of what we call the Twin Cities. But before I cover quadrants, we have what's called the inner ring suburbs or first ring suburbs and these are usually defined as cities immediately adjacent to the core cities. In this case, the inner ring suburbs in our Twin Cities include Richfield, Edina, Hopkins, St. Louis Park, Golden Valley, Robbinsdale, Crystal, Brooklyn Center, Columbia Heights, St. Anthony, Falcon Heights, Lauderdale, Roseville, Maplewood, and West St. Paul. Now for the quadrants, I'll start with the North Metro and head all the way around in a clockwise fashion. In the North Metro, we would include cities such as Arden Hills, New Brighton, Fridley, Spring Lake Park, Blaine, and Shoreview. In the Northeast Metro, we would include Little Canada, Vadnais Heights, White Bear Lake, and Lake Elmo. On the East Metro side, we would include Oakdale, Maplewood, and Woodbury. Southeast Metro, we would include Mendota Heights, Sunfish Lake, Invergrove Heights, St. Paul Park, and Cottage Grove. South Metro includes cities such as Bloomington, Egan, Savage, Apple Valley, Rosemont, Prior Lake, Burnsville, Lakeville, and Farmington. Southwest Metro includes Eden Prairie, Chanhassen, Shakopee, and Chaska. And on the West Metro, we include cities such as New Hope, Plymouth, Minnetonka, Orono, Mound, and along with several small cities around Lake Minnetonka. In the Northwest Metro, we would include cities such as Brooklyn Park, Maple Grove, Rogers, Albertville, Anoka, Champlin, and Ramsey. Each of these quadrants have their own videos and highlights of each area. Links are in the description below. If you are making a move to the Twin Cities metro area, please feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.